And the Prophet ﷺ, if you look at the hadith where Aisha broke the plate and she was angry, she smashed the plate down. The Prophet ﷺ didn't get upset. He never got upset about things like that. And he actually laughed and picked up the plate. And, and there's one where they got into a food fight. And he literally threw food and she threw food. And I mean, this very human situation. The Prophet ﷺ, I think just if you can imagine a human being that literally had no malice in his heart, no, just no animosity, always wanting to elevate the other always wanting to make the other feel that no matter what, I'm going to make you feel like a human being. But that, that's what he was. And uh, Nu'iman, I mean, you read the stories of Nu'iman, and there's a whole book on this character. He was a joker. The man was a total joker in Medina. He used to do the most outrageous things. He once took a sheep from a Bedouin, he sacrificed it, cooked it, and fed all these people. And the better one, when he came looking for sheep, he said, where is it? They said, he said, Nu'iman took it. So he went to the Prophet ﷺ, and Nu'iman went and hid when he heard that the Prophet ﷺ was looking at, for it. Because he'd taken this sheep that was left there. Uh, and if you leave something in a public space or something like that, there's a different ahkam that relate to it. But he went and he was hiding. Uh, there was a small gate and, and there was some palm leaves over it that had a lot of dust. And the Prophet ﷺ saw a group of people and he said, where is Nu'iman? And they all went like this, we don't know where he is, Ya Rasulullah. <laughs> and so the Prophet ﷺ went in under the palm thing and when Nu'iman saw him, he shook the palm thing and all these palm things came down and covered the Prophet ﷺ in dust. And he looked at Nu'iman and he said, Nu'iman, why did you do that? He said, those people out there, they told me to do it. Because he was angry that they had revealed his hiding place. And at that point, the Prophet ﷺ, he literally laughed. And this is a man who, another time, he took a blind man, the man asked him to show him where to urinate, and he put him in a public spot. And the man urinated, and everybody started laughing and told him, and he said, who did this to me? And they said, Nu'iman. He said, Wallahi, if I catch up with him, I'm going to hit him so hard, he'll never forget it. And he was in the mosque about a month later, and Nu'iman saw him, and he walked up to him, he said, are you looking for Nu'iman? He said, yes. He said, I'll take you to him. So he takes him over and Sayyidina Uthman was praying. And he was the Khalifa at this time. And he puts him his hand, he says, there he is. And he lets him feel him. And he takes his cane and hits him over the head while he's praying. And when Sayyidina Uthman finished his prayer, he went and he said, what's going on? And the blind man said, aren't you Nu'iman? He said, I'm Amir al <laughs> And he said, who did this to me? And he said, Nu'iman. <laughs> and at that point, Sayyidina Uthman, his, the tribe came in because they were furious. And he actually just said, just leave him. Leave Nu'iman. You know, the man is just, that's his nature. And if the Prophet ﷺ would put up with him, I'm going to put up with him. And that's part of that spirit that was in that city. And these people were people that really had a spirit of just forgiving people, of just loving people. And if you can't forgive your spouse, your family member, we've got a serious problem. We have a serious problem of the inability to overlook the fault. Isn't it so funny how we all walk around? Never even thinking of the days under the ground The drive and ambition taking over our lives For this world, for the fame, for the power do we strive